also is the name of this small circular forest which tops the tallest hill at the Tulane Estate where uh, at the beginning of our activity we discovered an ancient Etruscan tomb and other ruins. This uh, unique forest is known as Al Paso. It's a place where uh, centuries ago local landlords uh, hunted uh, uh, using trained birds as decoys uh, to lure the, the, the prey uh, in, in the passage that uh, in Italian language is uh, Passo, Al Passo. So why this, uh, uh, this name? Um, still mm, nowadays, as you can see, we benefit of a magical view, a breathtaking view um, of the countryside and sunsets over the towers of Siena on the right side, but also the towns of Montalcino and Montepulciano. Al Passo is a blend um, of Sangiovese, Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon grapes in equal measure which aged 18 months before to rest for another year in the bottle. The wine has a brilliant ruby red color of um, medium intensity as well as a medium concentration. The nose features a ripe and pleasant black fruity uh, aromas of a blackcurrant, blackberries and black cherry, so mostly black fruits. And uh, these are uh, perfectly mingled with um, cedar, tobacco, even some uh, black pepper and iron notes. So uh, an amazing spicy bouquet. Uh, finally, some light balsamic hands uh, close the profile of a wine that promises to be vibrant and juicy. Oh yeah, on the palate it's um, well balanced with a medium to high dusty tannins but uh, at the same time with a good uh, acidity. We have a, an excellent acidity. I very much like the kick of energy here. Um, you can perceive uh, the, uh, the backbone of Sangiovese, the roundness given by Merlot grapes and also the muscular character of Cabernet Sauvignon. If you like Bordeaux uh, style wines, you are going to like this wine. I think I'm going to pair it with a handmade pasta and aragu sauce tonight. <laughs>